Hello everybody, welcome back to Teach Me to Science and today we're going to be talking about exer and endergonic reactions. Let's start by talking about the definitions of each. An exergonic reaction releases energy and is always spontaneous. You can remember this by the EX at the beginning of the word which kind of reminds me of exit. An endergonic reaction takes in energy and is always non-spontaneous. I like to remember this by EN or ENTER being at the beginning of the word. Hopefully these terms remind you of a couple other terms that we've learned, exothermic and endothermic. The main differences are that an exer or an endergonic reaction are associated with spontaneity and are a transfer of energy rather than endo and exothermic being a transfer of heat. And remember, an exo or an endothermic reaction are not associated with spontaneity. Now let's look at some graphs. Pause the video and try and figure out which graphs are exergonic or endergonic and which graphs are exothermic or endothermic. You may be confused because both of these graphs have energy on their y-axis. Remember though, that while a reaction may gain or lose heat, it also loses or gains energy in the form of potential energy. When we're talking about an exergonic or an endergonic reaction, we're specifically talking about the gain or loss of Gibbs energy. And this is why these reactions, endergonic and exergonic, are associated with spontaneity, because they show a direct change in Gibbs free energy. Thank you for watching this video on endergonic and exergonic reactions. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.